Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A cylindrical tube with its base as shown in the figure is filled with water. It is moving downward with a constant acceleration along a fixed inclined plane with angle theta equal to 45 degree. Here P1 and P2 are pressure at point 1 and 2 respectively located at the base of the tube. Let beta is equal to P1 minus P2 upon rho dg where rho is density of water, d is the inner diameter of the tube and g is the acceleration due to gravity. Which of the following statement is oblique r correct? It means multi choice question. Here option first beta is equal to 0 when acceleration a is equal to g by root 2. Option b beta is greater than equal to 0 when a is equal to g by root 2, option c, beta equal to root 2 minus 1 upon root 2, when a equal to g by 2, option d, beta is equal to 1 by root 2, when a equal to g by 2. This question is asked, J advanced 2021. And what says this question? Here we have given inclined plane and a liquid capped in U having the density is rho and the diameter of this tube is a small d making angle that is 45 degree with the base here we have given this upper point that is uh, 2 lower point that is 1 and sliding downward with acceleration a okay and uh, acceleration due to gravity is acting downward direction here, one thing is very important, any liquid, any liquid uh, which is contained in the test tube or bottle and is sliding downward direction, then liquid is exerts acceleration to the upward direction and this is called pseudo acceleration. So here, one thing is very important, so acceleration, although this is sliding downward direction, but pseudo acceleration is acting upward direction, okay. So here, if this pseudo acceleration is A, upper direction and this is 45 degree, so obviously it is also 45 degree, okay. So this acceleration of the base component means Ay equal to A cos 45, this is perpendicular component opposite side of theta, okay, this is perpendicular, so Ax equal to A sin 45 and a cos 45 is 1 by root 2 means a y is equal to a by root 2 and a x is also a by root 2. It means a x equal to a y equal to a by root 2. Okay. So, if we have to draw this parallel line and consider this point is 3, we have draw separately for our convenient. This point is 2 this point is 1 and this point is 3. This is 45 degree. This is 90, so obviously this is 45 degree. Opposite angles are equal, then opposite sides are also equal. This is D, so obviously this is also D. Okay, so here the difference of the pressure can be calculated by using Pascal's law. As we know that change in pressure is equal to H rho G. This is the Pascal's law and in the place of H, we have substitute P1 minus P3. Remember, downward direction, this is down point, pressure is maximum, then 3. So, P1 minus P3 is equal to D and uh, uh, density of this liquid is rho and resultant, resultant acceleration, that is G acting downward direction and pseudo acceleration acting upward direction. So, G minus A by root 2. This is the first equation. Okay. Now, here the point 
2 and 3. Here, obviously, acceleration, pseudo acceleration of the liquid acting 3 to 2. So, here pressure P2 is maximum than 3. So, P2 minus P3 is equal to here only pseudo acceleration is acting. So, here effective acceleration D rho A by rho 2. It is consider equation number second. Okay. Now, first minus second equation P1 minus P3 minus P2 and plus P3 that is cancel out subtracting these terms. So, here resultant P1 minus P2 is equal to here D rho G minus K by root 2 and uh, minus D rho A by root 2. So, P1 minus P2 is equal to D rho get common G minus A by root 2 minus A by root 2. P1 minus P2 is equal to D rho and here G minus 2A by root 2. So, P1 minus P2 is equal to D rho G and 2 can be written as root 2 root 2. This is a root 2 cancel out. So, P1 minus P2 and here G get common D rho G. So, 1 minus root 2A by G. Okay. Now, transposing this term to the left side comes in denominator D rho G is equal to 1 minus root 2 A by G. Okay. Now, in the question, we have given beta is equal to P1 minus P2 rho D G that is beta. So, whole value is equal to beta. Beta is equal to 1 minus root 2 A by G. Using this uh, given data, firstly put the beta is equal to 0, it means 0 is equal to 1 minus root 2 a by g. This is transposing root 2 a by g is equal to 1, then a is equal to g by root 2. So let's see beta is equal to 0, then a equal to g by root 2. This is first option is correct. Okay. So, obviously, this op op uh, option of B is not possible for the same value. Now, put the value of beta is equal to root 2 minus 1 by root 2. Okay. So, in the place of beta, root 2 minus 1 by root 2 is equal to 1 minus root 2 A by G. So, here root 2 minus 1 by root 2 transposing this term to the left side 1 minus root 2 minus 1 by root 2 taking the LCM minus root 2 minus minus plus 1 this is cancel out and uh, A is equal to here now A is equal to g and root 2 root 2 that is 2 so a equal to g by 2 so here beta is equal to root 2 minus 1 then a equal to g by 2 so this option c is also correct and for the same value that would be not possible so option d is not correct so correct option a and here c is correct answer i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success Full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.